Okay, it's February 19, 2024, and I'm out for a little drive. We had a few inches of snow earlier this week, and then after that we had a dusting of additional snow. So, you know, everything is white, at least back here. When we get out to the main road, it's probably not going to be so bright. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to head out and head over to Southwest Harbor because I just haven't been out of the house for a number of days. And a couple of people commented that they liked my driving videos here on the island. So we're going to head over to Southwest Harbor. And because about five days ago, they reopened the road at Seawall where it was washed out by the big storms back in the middle of January. The road was closed for just over a month and they finally reopened it just the other day. So we'll go that way. It's what I call the scenic route and I haven't been that way for quite a while. So it will be uh, interesting to have a look. As you can see there's a little snow alongside the road but the roads themselves, once we get off the private road that I live on, are clear. And that's pretty normal for around here. Uh, the roads get cleared very quickly after a storm, often during the storm, if it looks like it's going to be a big storm. And uh, that pretty much... Uh, means that we hardly ever actually drive on snow here unless you have to go out during a storm which I usually don't the roads are dusty today though that car ahead of me is putting out is raising quite a bit of dust so I'll slow down and let him pull away and we're on uh, main state route 102a so this is a main state highway and up here just a little bit there'll be uh, on either side of the road is Acadia National Park but the road itself although it passes through the park is not part of the park so you can drive through here without a park pass and we'll just go on and have a look at this little drive. As you can see the road is actually kind of bumpy. It's been going down below freezing at night and getting up into the low 30s during the day. So that has caused frost heaves on the road. And, uh, and just a little bit of snow. We had maybe three inches of snow and then we had just a, another eight inch so little that I actually hand shoveled it off of my driveway the second time and so it isn't bad and I just went this way so that we can have a look at the repaired seawall road where the storm washed the road out. I posted a video oh, a month ago now showing some of the damage to the road in the form of photographs I took as I, drew, as I walked across uh, the road, which at that time was closed. But they opened it up on Valentine's Day and it is now open again, yet again, so which makes this very nice. It's a very pleasant drive this way. And it won't be long until we're over to Seawall. And there's a, a bumpy road is causing stuff that I have in the truck to rattle. I have a box of sockets and they're rattling because I did have a flat tire last week. I don't know why. I think I got a sharp rock that penetrated it. Uh, 
tire was pretty worn down and I had to change it and put my spare on and which is why the uh, sockets and my torque wrench are still in the car because I don't trust the spare tire the way the lug nuts fit it since they're specialized lug nuts to go on my aluminum wheels they don't fit the uh, spare tire quite right so every time I drive I uh, retorque the lug nuts anyway we'll be right up here in just a little bit and we'll go across seawall right here is where they had the road closed and they've still got an excavator over here the state department of transportation does and uh, here's the road that was washed out by the storm you can see where they piled gravel that was on the road up beside it and right up here we'll get to the first spot where the storm washed the pavement out and here we go this is it the first spot where the pavement was completely washed out and they have, as you can see, <laughs> repaired it with gravel. They have not yet repaved. They probably won't do that until spring. And here's the other spot where the robe was completely washed out. And along the uh, left edge of the road here, probably can't see it as I drive across, but the pavement was ripped up there too and the road was undermined so seawall road is open again as we go past the seawall motel and that was the major damage around here uh, in this part of the uh, on this part of Mount Desert Island um, and as I said it's fixed you can drive across there now as we just did so we'll go down and go to Southwest Harbor and have a look at things. I'm running a little low on battery, so I think I'll stop filming until we get into Southwest Harbor, the town. We're actually in the outskirts of Southwest Harbor now, but uh, we won't be into the town proper for another four or five minutes. Okay, I'm back and we're headed into Southwest Harbor the main part of the town got you know a quarter mile and we'll be right in the middle of downtown metropolitan southwest harbor we'll be able to see the huge skyscrapers three-story buildings things like that um, and we'll see what's going on there see how busy it looks I'm probably gonna have to cut this video short because I thought I had more battery than I do uh, I've used about a sixth of the battery already and uh, I've got a yellow light showing in terms of battery so probably another eight or nine minutes and then I'll be out of battery but that'll be enough to get into beautiful downtown Southwest Harbor Maine Where I have a little business to transact and then I will pick this up again so here we go see it is President's Day today so most everything uh, is closed well not really the hardware store is open but uh, everything else is closed because it's winter <laughs> as we head through downtown Southwest Harbor all two blocks of it all right, I'm going to head in and take care of my business now. Okay. Now I'm going to head over to the grocery store. And we'll see what's going on. There's the school, which is, of course, closed today because it's a holiday. And uh, we'll head over to the grocery store, which will involve driving through the rest of the built up part of Southwest Harbor. In terms of land area, the bulk of the town is uh, woods and undeveloped areas. And also a good deal of the land 
within the city limits is actually part of Acadia National Park. So this built up part is uh, what most people think of as the town of Southwest Harbor, but this is only a small part of it. Okay, one of the things I'm noticing is that I'm driving on my spare tire, as I mentioned earlier, because I had a flat, and uh, it's been, uh, oh, a week and a bit since that happened, and uh, I've got an appointment on Wednesday to do something about it, finally. I discovered when I had the flat tire and decided that it was time to put some new tires on the truck, that nobody in this area stocks tires that fit this truck. And everybody told me, well, you'll have to order them. And when they come in, we'll make an appointment for you to put them on. And then you can uh, come in and get them put on and nobody would tell me how much they'd cost until they actually arrived because they didn't know. So I ended up ordering them myself, had them shipped to my house. They arrived last Thursday. I made an appointment and my appointment is for this coming Wednesday, the 21st. So it's good, it will have taken about 10 days to get new tires. I, you know, even if I just wanted to get my flat repaired, they told me that was going to be a week before they'd be able to get to it. So, anyway, we're at the supermarket now, or grocery store here in Southwest Harbor. I'm just going to run in and pick something up. And then we'll head back over to Bass Harbor. See you in a little bit. Okay, I'm over here at the Southwest Harbor Town Dock now. I wanted to show you the dock. This is in uh, the Manset side, south side of Southwest Harbor. And here's the dock, and you can see they got a bunch of the planking ripped up out there. Uh, this has been closed. You can see they have it blocked off since the January 13 storm. And uh, they're doing some repairs. They were going to evaluate, they, initially they were evaluating it, but now they're repairing it and uh, getting whatever they're going to do to it done for the season. And here's another thing that happened. A lot of the asphalt here got ripped up by waves right at the beginning of the boat ramp. And this is important because this is where my boat will be launched. Yeah, let's look across the harbor over toward the hills of Mount Desert Island. It doesn't look like there's any snow over there, although I assure you there is a little bit, but not much. It's not sticking on the rocks that you can see up there. Look out toward Sutton Island and the Eastern Way. And over here, the damage included this tree that either blew down or was undermined by waves and washed down. I don't know which, but fair amount of damage over here. And I don't know when they're going to get this repair finished so that the town dock can be opened up for the season. And that's going to be a function of when I can launch and, you know, when they get this town dock repaired, that is going to impact when I can launch my boat. I hope not that I can launch it. I'm planning to launch in mid-May, but, you know, if they have the ramp and the dock closed uh, still, uh, that may impact it. I don't know where we would launch the boat then. Okay, so let's head over to Bass Harbor and take a look at things over there. Okay, I'm in Bass Harbor, and we're looking across at Bernard. Uh, harbor looks pretty normal. The only thing that's a little different is here at Rich's Lobster Pound, uh, their floats are no longer in. I suspect they may have had some issues during the storm last month. 
that maybe damaged their floats. I think this is one of their floats right here. This area probably wasn't damaged badly because this is very sheltered for the wind and wave direction that we had. And, uh, but the high water could have been an issue in here. So, Bass Harbor, Maine and the town of Bernard on the other side. Okay. Okay, well that wraps up today's little outing. I'm on my way home now. And uh, from here along the shore of Bass Harbor. It's pretty chilly out here with the wind, so I'm going to wrap the video up and head home. Hope you enjoyed just seeing a little bit of what it looks like here on the quiet side of Mount Desert Island, Maine on the 19th of February, 2024. Thanks for watching.